for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymaddencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden video. And today, I got a few things for you guys. So first, I'm going over the market. A few things I was noticing. It's crashing a lot more than it was even a few days ago in my last video. And I have just a few announcements to make. So first things first, first announcement before I get into the video. First, look at the face cam. Let me know if you guys like this. So I want to change it up a bit from being up here. It's going to be weird because I'm used to looking up there every single day. But I feel like there's a better take on it. I'm trying to get a few new things. I'm going to get a different lens so that I can do a cooler background. But I got the ring strip light or the strip lights up, finally. I'm trying to rearrange the camera. I feel like this would be a better view of me. Because the other way, when I used to look down like that, you guys would only see, like, my forehead. Now, like, no matter what I'm doing, you're going to be able to have a good view on me. More like eye level. Now, I should get used to looking at this camera because I'm going to keep looking up there. I promise you guys. Now, if you guys like the lighting in the background, probably add some more stuff to the background to make it look cooler. But for now, I think this is cool. If the mic bothers you, let me know. I'll move it, but it sounds better right here. Now, second, thank you guys so much. We finally hit 2K. And I shouldn't say finally. It was really quick. So, actually, I'm being impatient by even saying finally. But you get the point. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I've been loving every last bit of it. The support has been unreal. 2K, is that's just crazy. I did not think. I had no idea that when I started two months ago, I would be at 2,000 subscribers already. Like, thank you guys so much for that. You guys are making this a reality for me and a lot of things I want to do with my life. So, hopefully, we can continue this grind. And now, I tweeted out yesterday. If you guys don't have me on Twitter, go follow me over on Twitter before I get into Sorry for dragging it, but go follow me, poodle underscore gaming underscore. I talk a lot on there. And um, I, I tweeted out, since this Madden's getting a little slower now and a lot less people are watching, I'm going to use this time to focus on my editing and my quality, which is why I'm making a camera switch a mic switch i'm trying to move things around I'm trying to get some better quality going so hopefully you guys like this camera angle and everything and um hopefully by madden 20 i can really like, go all in and get some better co content better quality I'm gonna focus on better content i feel like my video has been a little lackluster in comparison to what i have the ability to do so let's get into the video guys Ho comment down below any of your feedback on all of that or hit me up on twitter so first things first going into the market so you look over here i hope you guys can see me properly this way I might need some side lighting, but if you go over, if you guys remember, I've been talking about Michael Vick. So Michael Vick, if you go over to 9899, Michael Vick's kind of like my key for the market for some reason, because I don't know, but year by year, I feel like Michael Vick's always, so he's such a commodity that like, I just use him as a landmark. So Michael Vick's at 392K. That's crazy. This card is supposed to be a top card in the game, but training brings him down because he's not as valuable in years past. He's not as valuable as he was in years past. And training doesn't help at all when it comes to that in terms of keeping him down in value. Now, he's that. And then if you look at my Lawrence Taylor, Lawrence Taylor is 4, 4, 9, 439. He just got posted, actually. So these cards are down right now. My biggest advice I'd have to give you guys right now, if you have any of these cards, it's probably just sell. Think about what's coming next, right? So we got, we got the rest of this draft promo to finish. We got the actual draft. Like when the draft happens, those players that come out and they typically get 99 rookies that everyone wants. That's usually when the game starts to break down a little bit. And then we're going to have the Easter promo and then golden tickets and then blockbuster. They're going to be such an influx of 99s coming soon that these cards are not are going to barely be valuable. Now, the only reason that these cards might keep more value than years past is because these cards can be powered up, chemmed up and turned into 99. So technically, if your favorite player is Michael Vick, 90, or like Lawrence Taylor 98, powered up and chemmed up, you might not even want the next outside my back that comes out for the rest of the year in years past typically you couldn't power and come up that good as you can this year so like once you didn't have that card being the top card you just sell them off and he loses all value so he might retain some for that but these cards will easily go down to probably 300 flat in the, in the near future and by near future i mean within the next month or so because you guys can't rely so solely on their ability as a card because i'm telling you i played madden since madden 13 this is the turning point in the year as much as I've been saying it, like, we're about to get hit with 99 galore. It's going to be draft. It's going to be Easter. It's going to be blockbuster. It's going to be golden tickets. It's going to be summer. It's going to be mover. Like, every everything that you can think of. Everything you can think of is happening. This is when the game just starts giving out 99. So, in my opinion, if you have any 98s. If you guys are playing the game every week, week in league, fine. Keep your team. If you're just, if you're just speculating and playing the market, I'd have to say sell everything. Unless it's trained up, obviously. If you have a trained up option, maybe don't sell everything because you might, in the long run, saving, getting, saving 80k now, losing your sprinter, your training, the power down cost of 20k, like let's say, 
you might actually end up not gaining much you might actually break even so if i was you guys i personally would if it's the top end card in your training option or you just have them based like this i would sell them they're all gonna go down this tom brady's gonna go down this vic's gonna go down the only cards you don't have to sell are limited times i guess technically because they, they'll always have a quick sell value of 500k but i just can't see myself at all banking on the market returning it's it's done at this point at this point in the year the market is what it is it only goes down from here training can no longer hold cards up like it used to like if you remember training would keep cards at values where they shouldn't be throughout the year which kind of sucked which is the issue with training it made cards more valuable than they should have been and cards that should have been valuable less valuable so like let's say this night train lane was like michael vick was a glitch it his value is coming down just because of training and then this night train lane that isn't really that good or a few cards that aren't really that good were held up the whole year because of training but now we're at a point where training doesn't even help anymore training is less about training is so unvaluable or invaluable if you say that word in comparison to what it was literally weeks ago so at this point just sell off your team start focusing like i said unless you play the game obviously right so if you come down to the 97s sorry i'll get to, i'll get to that point you come down to the 97s they're dirt cheap in comparison i remember buying these cards for 600k 700k so if you want to if you want to build there's two ways to look at this right if you've been saving coins in the next few weeks build your team if you have a team sell your team so if a guy sold this team a month ago and has three million coins soon would be the time to go buy your team and start building your god squad right because three million coins now is a lot more than it was a few weeks ago but on the on the contrary on the contrary if you currently have a team worth three million if you hold on to it much longer it's only gonna be worth two million and po quite possibly one million in the coming weeks i've seen it i've, I've literally I've, i'm a victim of every year quitting the game around february with the team worth three million coins and then coming back in june like with my friends like let's start playing again and i come back I, I go to put up my 99 Deion sanders i'm like what the hell it goes for 150k i end up making 700k on pro return and like i said for you guys if you're looking for rookie premieres and you're done with the game sell your team and just don't do anything stupid with the coins because come rookie premieres you're gonna be like damn i regret it i wish i could have that saquon for next year whatever next year's cards are obviously that devin white that kyler murray that uh, Dwayne haskins you're gonna wish you could have those cards for next year's madden so here are my options for you if you're gonna sell your team right you have three options probably if you're gonna sell your team and keep playing sell your team speculate wait for the cards to go down and then capitalize and buy a team now if you're going to sell your team and stop playing the game two options just go sell your coins to a coin sponsor first option set third i mean uh, second option for that second option let's just say keep your coins and wait for late in the year when maybe you want to come back right because obviously those coins are valuable or third option save them and just wait for rookie premiere that's my recommended option save enough for rookie premiere now how much are they going to be i don't remember quite exactly how much i spent i remember for saquon last year i spent a few hundred k maybe like 400k 500k on that saquon but i bought it like i'm right when it came out obviously if you wait a little bit longer be better but it was worth it i had a 98 saquon like it was worth it all year now maybe they implement chemistry from next year would be a lot cooler definitely so hopefully that's what they do with that but if they don't still worth it at the christmas promo you got literally if you had all of them at the christmas promo you got like 593 overall players which at the time was the highest card so right now it's kind of ass but at the time you got like a quarter of your team filled for free in relation to that game so in my opinion and the third final option being sell everything and just wait to play right wait to play that was kind of the other option but this one's like the other one was like if you, you don't know what to do with your coins then and then again if you're just done with the game in general just completely done like i said sell your coins hold your coins but don't keep your coins if you're, if you're not going to play right now if you're not going to play if you're not playing this week or the next week sell your team madden changes week to week especially this time of the year so if you're not playing right now sell your team don't even bother don't even bother because it's not worth it for you you're going to lose coins then you think about it in a real life currency you wait a few weeks your team will probably go down two to 300k that's 20 30 bucks in coins that you could probably sold to someone like you know what i'm saying maybe a little less depending on what you're selling it to but you, the point is i would just sell 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 don't wait don't don't ruin your coin value and then come back months later and first of all then you come back months you can't play later because your team's gonna suck it's hard to go from a three five million coin team to come back to a million coin team and eh, it's just not the same you know you felt like you were rich now you're not and um yeah you're gonna regret not having a premiere so that's what it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed my market talk i'm probably gonna start this as a regular thing i kind of i like this camera angle i feel like i'm like i'm in like a podcast it's kind of cool like in one of those like fantasy sports things but kind of cool anyway sorry comment down below if you enjoyed the lighting if you enjoyed the new camera angle and the overlay you missed the overlay i think i'm gonna go without the overlay i feel like it looks more fresh this way nice little tv pink background no overlay gives me more space for my face you know but if you enjoyed it comment down below make sure to like 
by the way, as per usual. I really appreciate a like. Make sure to comment down below. The 75k was never claimed. I'm going to hold out on that for a few days. Not going to keep spamming that. I'll wait till our channel gets back up a little bit, and then I'll start doing that again. And um, make sure to sub, guys. We're above 200. We're above 2,000 subs. Next goal is 3k and so on and so forth. So hopefully we can surpass that and be in a nice place for Madden 20. But for now, 3k, boys, that's the goal. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.